everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Tam and today I have a renovation video for you guys. Usually when I renovate houses or when I do create a sim, sorry that was my chair, uh, I usually don't, don't make a voiceover, I usually just put in the music, but I decided that I want to talk a little bit more with you guys and connect a little bit more with you guys, so yeah. Today we're going to have a voiceover. It's a little bit weird to film a voiceover because I'm currently looking at my video and I'm talking with you guys, but I'm gonna get used to it. So, uh, if you're new here, my name is Tam uh, and I make uh, Sims 4 videos mainly. I also currently uh, am hosting a giveaway for the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, so I will leave the link to that video down below in the description, so make sure to go and check that out. Also, I would like to thank everybody for subscribing. You guys are so amazing. We uh, um, we had over 300, I'm thinking, yeah, over 300 subscribers in the last 24 hours. Oh my god, you guys, that was insane. My dad actually called me last night to tell me that and it was, it was, it was insane. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for that. I really hope that you're going to find something that is interesting to you on this channel. Uh, I am really working uh, hard on my content and I am trying to deliver different types of stories and different types of videos for you guys and I'm currently really in love with my stories and I'm in love with the Sims 4 community. The Sims 4 community is awesome and the community manager is amazing. Amanda, thank you so much for providing me the copy of the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. I, I don't have to say that anymore, but I do want to thank Amanda for providing me with the copy and I want to thank EA for creating such an amazing game. The Sims 4 has never been in such a good position. So yeah, you guys, I'm really, really, really liking the Sims 4 right now. So uh, I don't want to ramble too much. This video is going to be about 11 minutes long so we are two minutes in uh, but I do want to talk about the house a little tiny bit so um, after I deleted everything from the house I mean the furniture and things like that we had a little bit over 10,000 simoleons 10,000 simoleons was not enough for me to um, paint the entire house put the new floors and get the new furniture so I decided to cheat a teeny tiny bit what I mean by that uh, I um, I know that this is a big sister challenge, I'm calling it a big sister challenge, but I'm not following the, the rules of the big sister challenge just because I want to uh, focus more on the story and exploring the Sims for cats and dogs and things like that. So um, at the beginning of the story I told you guys that uh, my beautiful Dakota and her little brother Devon moved to... Um, Brin Brindleton Bay because their parents passed away a couple of months ago so uh, up until that point uh, I'm going to say that uh, they were waiting for their furniture to arrive so everything that is currently in the house is inherited by their parents except the cats and dogs uh, stuff so the climber the uh, feeding bowls that I forgot to put in I'm going to put them in in the next part of the big sister challenge I forgot I don't know how but uh, yeah the, the pet beds and everything like that pet toys everything uh, they bought everything when they moved into the house but the furniture the tv the uh, toddler's room everything uh, has been moved from their old house uh, after their parents died but they moved to brindleton bay and they will they had to wait for the moving company to bring their furniture back so i'm co i'm calling it like that we are i think i spend everything uh, i added 200 uh, no 20,000 simoleons, yeah, I added 20,000 simoleons and I spent everything up to the last penny. I think we're on to 300 simoleons or something like that. And I think that the house looks pretty nice for the beginning. We're going to upgrade it eventually and we're going to add a little bit more things and stuff like that. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with the end result. And yeah, I love the house. I don't know why. I think it looks cozy and nice. I tried to put a little bit, a little bit more pictures and I tried to put a little bit more curtains and things like that. Also, you guys, uh, I don't know if you uh, got to this point of the video, but if you are here, please let me know what do you guys think about The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Do you like the expansion? Do you hate it? Um, do you think it's the best thing ever? Do you think it's the worst thing ever? Uh, so far, uh, I heard only the good uh, reviews for The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, but I'm guessing that there's going to be someone who doesn't like something in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Uh, there's always somebody who doesn't like it and that is perfectly fine. Uh, we, do, we don't have to like 
uh, all the same things so I'm really curious about that also uh, do you like more cats uh, or do you like more dogs if you're watching this video leave that down below as well uh, what was the first thing you created just uh, just I just want to connect to you guys and also I've been thinking about doing another type of video, uh, not type of video, but a uh, type of thing in my videos. I would like to do comments of the day or maybe jokes of the day or something like that. I'm, I'm, I have so many ideas in my head and I'm trying to figure out what would work on my channel, what would uh, what would not work. Sorry guys, English is not my, my native language so it's a little bit hard to, to talk. Uh, because I'm currently thinking in my own language and translating in my head so it's, it's kind of a weird composition I don't know I would like somebody to be in my head while I'm talking that would be pretty cool so yeah I'm rambling right now but this video is supposed to be a rambly video because I do want to connect with my audience I currently have a lot more um, viewers and I currently have a lot more people watching my videos and I'm super super thankful and grateful for that you guys you guys are the best and I just want to know what you guys think about my channel and what you guys think about the different ideas that I have for the channel. I will also make another type of video, maybe um, Q&A video or something like that and I also have something planned for my 2000 uh, 2k subs um, special video so stay tuned for that. I'm going to, I have a pretty good cool idea so that is probably going to happen next week someday, I don't know and I also have so many videos planned for the next week uh two videos a day are all already planned and um i'm not going to say that everything is filmed but uh i'm halfway through it so um i don't know the current schedule that i have uh next week is going to be filled with videos because i was doing a lot of pre-filming because i really wanted to play with cats and dogs but um, um i'm going to switch out my schedule a teeny tiny bit i'm trying to finish not so very legacy and um, uh, this, the season one and then I'm going to make a break and then I will return with the season two of Not So Berry Legacy because there's going to be 10 generations and I'm going to count it as 10 different let's plays. I am determined on finishing that really really determined I want to get to 10 generations of the Not So Berry Legacy because I think it would be pretty pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you guys, I'm going to return back onto the house because I was rambling in the background. Um, uh, I was kind of um, weird with the the layout layout of the house is a kind of bit weird. But I decided that the, the entrance of the house is going to have a lot of books. Uh, we're going to say that Dakota uh, inherited those shelves and those books from her mom, and she just didn't want to get rid of it, so she put it over there. And we also put a lot of toddler stuff in that um, beginning uh, air beginning area of the house because I don't know she's going to do a lot of painting because we do need money so she decided that she's going to utilize her painting skills that are pretty good so far and that she's going to earn a little bit more money for her and her little brother so that is what's going to happen with that and uh, that's why I placed a lot of toddler stuff uh, in that area because um, Devon are, is going to hang out with Dakota a lot and she's going to paint and just talk with her brother and socialize with her brother just so he doesn't feel alone and also I placed a lot of kitty things and doggy things and I forgot the litter box and I forgot the feeding bowls and if you're wondering why there was a pause my mom uh, came in and started talking to me and I don't know I forgot to pause the video nevertheless so uh, I I uh, think I did a pretty good job with the house. I'm not the best at the building and decorating, but I like doing it, especially decorating. Decorating is my favorite, favorite thing. I love, uh, I really like decorating houses. I did not have enough money to uh, do everything I wanted, but eventually we're going to upgrade and uh, put a lot of new things inside. And also I haven't done anything with the garden because I did not have enough money. So the garden is going to change a little teensy tiny bit later on. And oh my God, you guys, I, I really like the house. I think it turned out really well and it's colorful. It's beautiful. I don't know. I like the coloring. I like the uh, furniture. I like the layout and the top portion of the house I left as it is. I mean one big portion. I did not want it to put a wall between um, uh, between 
Dakota's room and Devin's room because he's a clingy sim. Uh, if you do not know, if you haven't watched my big sister challenge, he's a clingy sim and clingy toddler and he, I, I don't know, I think it would be a pretty cool, cool idea to leave the space open so uh, Dakota can check on him uh, very regularly. And yeah, I think it, it, it's it's a pretty, pretty nice layout for everything that I did so far. And the bathroom, I kind of forgot that we had a bathroom, so it was a little bit sparse, but I managed to pull everything in and um, I bought the cheapest shower, the cheapest toilet, the cheapest bathtub, and I bought second the cheapest uh, sink. So I'm going to upgrade the bathroom first for sure. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm, I really like the house. It's, it's colorful, it's nice. It looks like something teens would live in. And yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, we're getting closer to the end of the video. I actually changed the coloring of the windows. I changed the coloring of the floors outside, uh, the stairs and the coloring of the roof because I did not like that, that I don't know it was kind of greenish to me and I did not like it so the next thing that I'm going to do is recolor the um, the wallpapers on the outside and redo a little bit on the outside so you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos I really appreciate everything hit that bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload I'm uploading every single day and sometimes I'm going to upload two uh, videos a day uh, that is super exciting and yeah you guys enjoy the rest of the day the rest of the night the rest of the morning wherever you are in the world and yeah i'm going to talk to you guys next time bye